morning. What's going on, family? Um, the last storm, I had some fig branches fall apart and kind of broke down because the wind was too strong for it. And I'm instead of cutting it and throwing it away, I'm going to plant it. Usually, I cut these in half because this is about two feet. But this actually was the one that came from the ground, so that's going in the ground. What I did was I scraped it until I got to the cambium layer. This is honey. Um, so I'm just going to rub the honey on it just like that before I stick it in the ground. And I'm not putting it in the ground yet. I'm just going to put it in a pot. And then, so I just put the honey on it. Nice and thick. Just like that. And then I'll stick it right here. This is going to be the pot for them right now until winter passes. I then it should be. So it's going to stay right there. And then this one, since it already has roots, let me stick it in there and I'll bring you guys and show you. What they need is a lot of water, a lot of water. So that's the one with the roots, and then this one. And these nodes are what's going to shoot out. It should force it to come out from there. Um, I have a few of them outside, like this one. This one came from cuttings. And look at it now. Um, it's down there somewhere. So these were all cuttings. Some of them didn't make it. Those made it. And then I have this one that I'm going to also put in there. Um, if you know fig, it's just all over the place. So I'm just going to stick that in here with some honey on it as well. And then let it do its thing. So let's get the honey. And... like that and this is that raw honey that I had just like that boom and then we'll stick it in here this coconut ain't making it so you know we'll get it out of there it's been in there for a long time, but it's not making it. But the one that I just put it down here is making it. Look at it. See that? Mm -hmm. So, yes, that's what I wanted to show you guys. That's how I reproduce and add to my, what do you call it, my, my plantation or planting. <laughs> So, um, thank you for watching, and I'll keep you all posted, all right? Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell a friend. We are. And we ordered them in real nice. Just water. I just like to water around it. I have a pineapple in here as well. Check out the pineapple. Get it real nice and wet. And when you do these figs, they need a lot of water. So you got to get to them every day. So I get them every day. So far, I live out. It's already starting to be cold, but it will still make it because it's the season is done. 
and the fruits are done out of it. So, yep. All right. That's how you do it. I was saying about the cuttings. All oh, these are cuttings. These are all uh, thick cuttings. Uh, that's another one right there. That <laughs> that is actually an air layer. And if you look at it, it's already fruiting. But it's fruiting late. So this tells me that next year is going to fruit. All right. So this is also going to fruit, but it's fruiting late. So all these will fruit next year. Then, of course, the habanero peppers. And these are also early years that has fruit on it. Actually, this one is ripe. This one is ripe. Right. It's a massive one. It should be good tomorrow if you look down at it. It's a fresh, 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 fresh leaf. Uh, uh, or leaves or whatever you call it popping up. So, it works if you keep an eye on it, if you put the time in it. There's a little small one in that pot right there that also doing good. So yeah, that's the food I was showing you. That's actually right on the earlier. Um, let's do it. Yeah, should be ready tomorrow. So there it is. <laughs>